Hi lovelies, welcome back to my kitchen, it's Dami. I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make resurrection rolls or empty tomb rolls. It's a really simple recipe that you can make with your kids using it as a visual aid to really explain what Easter is all about. I hope you get to try this recipe. It's really, really, really simple and you'll be happy that you tried it. So let's get started. I'll be using some large marshmallows, one pack of crescent rolls, a quarter cup of melted butter, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So I'm going to mix my cinnamon and my granulated sugar together to get my cinnamon sugar mixture. Then I'm going to set this aside. Next, I'm going to open up my can of crescent rolls. If you don't have crescent rolls or you can't find it, you can use bread dough for this. It's just going to take um, a little bit longer than this because um, this recipe comes together in under 30 minutes. You assemble and bake it and you are done in under 30 minutes. But you can use bread dough. So I'm just opening my crescent rolls. And then I'm kind of separating it from each other. So this pack has eight rows in it. All I'm just going to do is to follow the guidelines on the dough and then cut it out to the eight um, crescents that I have. You want to be really careful because the dough is really delicate so that we don't um tear it otherwise it's going to cause a mess when you bake all right so now that i'm done separating my dough it's time to assemble I have one marshmallow, I'll dip it in melted butter. Then I'm going to dip it in the cinnamon sugar mixture. Now I'm going to wrap it in my crescent dough, starting at the wider end. So once you're done wrapping, you want to pinch all the ends together to make sure that those marshmallows don't escape, you know. You want to pinch it to make sure that everything is well sealed. Then I'll place this on my baking tray that I lined with some parchment paper. So I'm going to do it again for you to see. You pick a marshmallow, dip it in melted butter. Then you dip it in the cinnamon sugar mixture. you wrap So I'm going to do the rest of camera and I'll be back to show you everything. Now I'm done, I'm going to pop it in my oven at 375F or 190C for 10 minutes. 
and my resurrection rolls are done i had a little bit of leakage in some of these ones but it's okay it's not even obvious on camera then i'm going to let it cool for five minutes so it's been five minutes um it's time for the moment of truth to open up our resurrection rolls and see if our tomb is really empty And this is how it looks. The marshmallows have disappeared and the tomb is empty. This is really delicious though. It tastes like cinnamon rolls. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And also leave a comment in the comment section below on what you think about this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. And turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. Which is every Saturday by 12pm Eastern Time or 5pm West African Time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good one. Stay safe and have a wonderful Easter. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.